the top five billionaires in Europe. Without the maverick Americans and Asians making incredible strides in IT and other fields of endeavor, how would the list of billionaires around the world appear? If you exclude these two groups, you may discover a fascinating crop of European billionaires who acquired their wealth in unexpected places. We'll examine the top 5 European billionaires today along with their sources of income. Number 5. Beate Heister and Karl Abrecht Jr. $39.2 billion Germany Beate Heister and Karl Albrecht Jr. are the offspring of Karl Albrecht Sr., who passed away in July 2014 at the age of 94. Karl Sr. and his brother Theo Sr., who passed away in 2010 at the age of 88, took over their family's corner grocery store in Essen, Germany, following World War II. By adopting a low-price strategy like Walmart, they created the Aldi supermarket chain, advancing the development of discounts in German retailing. In 1961, the brothers split ownership. Carl Sr. took the stores in southern Germany plus rights to the Aldi brand in the UK, Australia, and the US. Theo Sr. got the stores in northern Germany and the rest of Europe. In 1971, he bought the U.S. grocery chain Trader Joe's. The family entity Sightman is believed to own at least 75% of Aldi, with the rest owned by charitable foundations. Beate Heister has never worked at Aldi Sud, but with her husband Peter and son Peter Max Heister, one of six children sits on the advisory board. On the other hand, Carl Jr. has no children and has worked in different positions in the company, but withdrew from his duties after being diagnosed with cancer. Beate's husband and children, along with Carl Jr.'s wife, Gabrielle Mertes, are all believed to have a share in the fortune. Number 4. Francois Pinault $52.3 billion, France Francois Pinault is the honorary chairman of the luxury group Caring, which owns fashion brands Saint Laurent, Alexander McQueen, and Gucci. Pinot founded Caring, which started as a wood and building materials company in 1963. In 1999, Pinot changed the direction of the business towards luxury goods when he bought a controlling stake in the Gucci group. The company, which made $16 billion in 2020 sales, also owns the watch brand Gerard Perigot, which is run by Pinot's son, Francois Henry. Pinot and his family own the iconic auction house Christie's, plus a $5,000 piece art collection with works by Picasso, Mondrian, and Koons. Additionally, the Pinot Collection Museum is set to open in the 18th century Bourse de Commerce building in Paris in 2021. In 2013, Pinot was worth $15 billion, making him the 53rd richest person in the world and the third wealthiest man in France. In under a decade, he has more than tripled his net worth. To continue, Pinot was born on August 21, 1936, in Le champ a small commune in the west of France. Raised by a timber trader in the rural French countryside, he worked in his father's timber business at an early age. By the age of 16, he had dropped out of school in Rennes. In 1956, Pinot enlisted in the military during the Algerian War. After returning to civilian life, he experienced the passing of his father. He subsequently sold his father's timber business, and the rest is history. Today, Francois Pinot and his family have a private art collection of more than 5,000 pieces. His first major purchase was a piece by Paul Serussier in 1980. Some of the most notable pieces are from artists such as David Hammonds, Rudolf Stigley, Koons, Paul McCartney, Donald Jude, and other contemporary artists. He initially collected 20th century art from artists like Picasso and Mondrian. Number 3. Francois Betancourt Mayers $83 billion, France Francois Betancourt Mayers is a French billionaire heiress and the richest woman in the world. Raised to be a strict Catholic, she has written several Bible commentaries and works on Jewish-Christian relations. She is the only daughter of the heiress of Lillian Betancourt. She married Jean-Pierre Mayers, the grandson of a rabbi. They raised their children, Jean-Victor and Nicolas, as Jewish. 
Her marriage caused controversy because of her grandfather, Eugene Schuller's trial for collaboration with the Nazi government. Also, he was L'Oreal's founder. Betancourt Mayors and their family still owns a 33% stake in the company. In 2008, she sued Francois-Marie Benet for taking money from her mother and she started proceedings to have her mother declared mentally incompetent. The revelations and the secret recordings that were used in the evidence led to the Betancourt scandal. In December 2010, Betancourt Mayors announced that she had settled out of court with her mother and Banier. Her mother died in September 2017 when her net worth was about $39.5 billion, which makes Betancourt Mayors among the top 20 wealthiest people in the world. After a fire severely damaged Notre Dame de Paris, Betancourt Mayors and L'Oreal donated $226 million to repair the cathedral. Even though she is better known as the heiress of the world's largest cosmetic company, Betancourt Mayors also has an active academic career. As a prominent author, she has written books on Jewish-Christian relations as well as on Greek mythology. Number 2. Amancio Ortega $84.9 billion, Spain Amancio Ortega of Spain is one of the wealthiest clothing retailers in the world and a pioneer in fast fashion. He co-founded Inditex, known for its Zara fashion chain with his ex-wife Rosalia Mara, in 1975. He owns about 60% of Madrid listed Inditex, which has eight brands including Massimo Dutti, Pull and Bear, and 7,500 stores worldwide. Ortega typically earns more than $400 million in dividends a year. He has invested his dividends primarily into real estate in Madrid, Barcelona, London, Chicago, Miami, and New York. Amancio Ortega Giona was born in Bustongo de Arbas, Leon, Spain on 28th of March, 1936. He is the son of Antonio Ortega Rodriguez and Maria Josefa Ortega Rodriguez. He mostly spent his childhood in Leon. Ortega left school at an early age and moved to Corona at the age of 14, shortly after he found a job at a shop and for a local shirt maker called Gala, which still sits on the same corner in downtown Corona, where he learned his trade from there. Moreover, his public appearances in 2000 as part of the warm-up before his company's initial public offering on the stock market in 2001 made headlines in the Spanish financial press. Ortega was, however, the only one who was ever granted interviews with three journalists. In 2011, Ortega announced his imminent retirement from Inditex's parent company to the Zara chain, stating that he would ask Inditex's vice president and CEO Pablo Eisler to take his place. Number 1. Bernard Arnault $187.1 billion, France Of the world's ultimate tastemakers, Bernard Arnault, the owner of the luxury group Moet, Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, and LVMH, briefly became the richest person alive in May, according to the latest data from Forbes' real-time billionaires list, replacing Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. However, after a short duration, Bezos reclaimed the top spot with a wealth estimate of $188.2 billion. Arnaud remains in the second position with a net worth of $187.1 billion on the Forbes of real-time billionaires list. He is the CEO and owner of the luxury goods conglomerate Moet, Hennessy, Louis Vuitton, and LVMH. The group owns more than 70 different luxury brands, including Louis Vuitton, Christian Dior, Tag Huye, Givenchy, and Moet, among others. The group is the most valuable company in Europe with more than $329 billion in market capitalization. Bernard started working in his father's construction company in the early years of his career and earned a small fortune, which he used to buy Christian Dior in 1985 by acquiring its bankrupt parent company, Saint Frère. Soon after, Arnaud managed to invest and take over the LVMH brand. He then went on to a two-decade run to bring major luxury brands under the umbrella of LVMH. The latest of these luxury brands to join the fold was Tiffany & Company, the American jeweler in a $15.8 billion deal. The deal was the largest for any luxury label. 
His riches are greatly influenced by the performance of the firm's stock prices because he owns a large investment in LVMH and other brands. His net worth increases if the share price does. While LVMH's earnings and sales decreased in 2020, the price of its share rose all year long. Because of this, Arnaud's net worth increased consistently by more than $100 billion in the past year alone. The stock prices increased further when LVMH recently reported first quarter revenue of $16.7 billion, up significantly over the same period in 2020. As he continued to buy shares of his company, it remains to be seen if Arnaud can recover the top rank as not just Europe's richest man, but also the wealthiest person in the entire globe. Bezos is simultaneously selling his Amazon shares. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you in advance for your feedback. I am Miss Luxurious, signing off for now. Do not forget to visit our YouTube luxury channel Luxoid to explore the exemplification of the great state of comfort and extravagant living.